now i'll uh, i will we'll discuss the sarut the earliest sarut player uh, indian is authority on this and he has written such a nice book so i have, i don't know whether i'll i'll be the right person to say or something however niyamatullah khan was the first sarut player found in calcutta he was in the court of wajid ali shah so uh, no recording of his is found he had two sons kiramatullah khan and As asadullah khan so even kiramatullah khan's recording is not found let's play uh, asadullah khan okof khan uh, well he he went to england to play for the queen victoria and he broke his sarot instead he uh, bought a uh, banzo and he changed the um, the playing board into fretless i mean the steel plate and then he started playing on that and he became very famous and it was known in calcutta as coco brand banjo so he used to play he cut all the records in the banzo mostly but he was a great sarot player His son-in-law Sakwat Hussain was too a great Sarut player. So let's hear Sakwat Hussain. Thank you. 
My God. They were very famous for playing fast gods. Yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. His son Omar Khan, who was his father of Irfan, the Irfan Khan, he was in Calcutta and he taught many students. Our great friend Irfanda, son of Umar Kansa. Hiren Bosch was a very prominent uh, Sarod player of Calcutta. He learned from Asadullah Khan and his brother Hiramatullah Khan, but he unfortunately he didn't cut any record. But his students uh, cut several records, one being Ashok Ghosh. Let's hear that style of playing. <laughs> Thank 
Rajendra Mohan Shengupta, another student of him.
uh, you can see the, the initially he was a disciple of Dhiren Bosch and later on Aladdin Khan. But actually he started play, learning sitar with Kalipal, who is a Israj player and a student of Keramatullah Khan. So let's see at Sham Gamuli. <laughs> Now we come to Amir Khan. Amir Khan's uh, father was Abdullah Khan, who was adopted by Murad Ali Khan, uh, the Gwalia Sarod Bhuan Gharana. Later on, they shifted to Sajahan to, and the Sajahan to Sarod Gharana. So Amir Khan, Amir Khan uh, was in Calcutta for a long time. He had a very good, good number of students who were brilliant Sarod players. One of them being Pandit Radhikaman Moitra. So let's say uh, then Timir Borun and Bani Kantu Mukaji, three disciples were very famous Sarut uh, players of at that time in Calcutta. So let's hear with Amir Khan. <laughs>
Amir Khan was actually invited by Lalita Mohan Maitra, grandfather of Radhikan Maitra. He was basically a Pakhwaj player in North, in the, uh, North Bengal. I mean, now in Bangladesh, in, in, in the uh, Rajshahi district of Bangladesh. Uh, in order to practice with a sarod or with an instrument, he invited Amir Khan. Thus, Amir Khan then, um, came to uh, Bengal and then he shifted to Calcutta. And as I told you, he um, uh, taught many Bengali sarod players. One of his uh, students was Nirendra Prishto Mitro who wrote a book, Sarad Rasa Chandrika, a uh, first book on Sarad playing. Uh, it, this book contains all the compositions taught by Amir Khan. I have got a copy of this book. It's a very rare book and very interesting book. Panikantu wow. Mukherjee, he's an electrical engineer and he used to work for Calcutta Electric Supply Corporation. He learned from Amir Khan Sahib. Uh, being an engineer, he had a very in innovative mind. So what he did, he changed the steel plate of Sarod into glass plate. And he used to play in that Sarod. So let's hear Bani Kanto Mukherjee. Let's play Radhika. Thank you. 
And his illustrious student, Buddhadev Dash Gupta. Shomorindu Shikdar, another student of Radhikon Macho, who uh, entire his life 
followed his guru's style. Uh, let's hear for a few minutes. Now we come to Maihar, Rampur Maihar, Alauddin Khan. Though he didn't stay in Calcutta, but he used to come. But actually, it is found that he only taught Virendra Kishore Rayasudhir in Calcutta, in that sense. Uh, because whenever someone used to go to him to, for learning, he used to ask him, them, the, why don't you come to Maihar, stay with me and learn from me in Maihar. So let's hear Alauddin Khan. Sorry, it's not uh, something something wrong with this recording. Okay, let's see. Uh, here his son, illustrious son, Ali Agor Khansa. Thank you. 
That was Rag Lanka Dhan Sarang. Mm -hmm. by him. Uh, in 1956, he came back from Bombay and opened his own school in the name of Ali Abar College of Music in South Calcutta, and where he started teaching all his students. And he also appointed his cousin brother, Bahadur Khan Saab, then his sons, Ashish Khan and Dhanesh Khan, Nikhil Banerjee, Nunil Bhattacharya, Shishir Khan, Dharcharya, everybody to teach there. So Bahadur Khan Saab taught there. At the same time, he taught privately lots of students. So let's hear Bahadur Khan. Sir Ashish Khan.
He was accompanied on tabla by Ustad Jaki Dusen. And then his middle son, Dhanish Khan, who was a very famous teacher and taught many good students. So let's hear. Once again, try Aladdin Khan sir. If...
Uh, with this, I end my presentation. Thank you very much for your patience. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Indo. Wonderful. Amazing. Are there any questions or from anyone for Nindo? If I could just comment, it's been a rare privilege hearing this presentation. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, wonderful you, study of photographs and recordings, really. So, so well presented. I'm just really kind of stunned. And uh, also thanks to Adrian for getting this organized. I mean, at times I feel like throwing out my Facebook because it's so intrusive. But in this kind of a situation, the, uh, the, uh, Resources of internet activity are just phenomenal. So uh, we're very grateful to both of you for that. I was interested in a couple, th two things. One, the first book you mentioned on the sitar, it goes very early. Do you have a date for when that was published? That book? Yes. Uh, it's almost 150 years ago. Yes, yes. I know because uh, Surinder Mohan Tagore published a couple books on sitar as well. Uh, yes, probably. Uh -huh. yeah, yes, yeah. and uh, I was. I think this predates that, so that was very. Uh, in terms it's, of, yeah, it's in, uh, It's more than 150 years ago. This book, yeah. and also the book on the Sarod. When when was that published? Was that? Uh, that was also published in in, in 1920s. 1920s. Yeah, yeah. That's yes. another yes. extremely important book for history yes. of music. One of the things about Tagore's books, he published he published what he called uh, airs, which of course it means tunes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Up to, I think it was about two hundred and forty of them that he published, which yes. is a tremendous amount. And it seems to me like if one got these uh, sources and and looked at them today, it would be a, a history of of guts that were used in, and and ragas that were used in the nineteenth uh, century. So yes. that's that my but but certainly the. Uh, Another quick question is the uh, uh, music by uh, Gopeshwar Vandal Padaya on the Surbahar. Was that accompanied by the Pakawash? It sounded no, it was no. The photo was he, the photo was with Surbahar, but the record he did was on sitar. Oh, I see. All right. And that was on tabla on sitar. Oh, good. And uh, and also, it was very interesting to uh, hear your comments about. Uh, uh, Asadullah Khan and uh, his, <laughs> I'd heard about yeah. this from Adrian, but also to hear that reinforced yeah. about the problems of playing in England and things like that. That's quite an interesting little sideline. Yeah. It was a tremendous presentation. Thank you very much again. And the, and the impression I get now is it's hard to talk about a his, history of Indian music. It seems like it's a history of guts with respect yeah. to the yeah. road and also a history of individual playing styles. That's the yes. point that comes across to me. And with that, I'll close my comments. But again, thank you very much. Thank Most you. welcome. Most Thank you. Anish, you have something. Uh, hello. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It was fantastic presentation and the audio tracks. <laughs> which uh, Now, one curious, just a curious question. You you mentioned about uh, Sajjad Khan and uh, Imdad Khan. And some he, Sajjad Hussain. Sajjad Hussain, yeah. And he didn't want to teach Imdad Khan but he had other yes. disciples. So was it just a professional rivalry or? Actually, they didn't want to teach uh, other than family members. Okay. Because there, were, there was two types of talims, the teachings. One is harsh talim, means only to be taught to be in the blood relations, sons. Okay. And the other one is arm talim, means for general public. Okay. Um, um, okay. But probably Sajjad Hussain didn't want, I mean, to teach in that kind. Of, there were some other reasons, probably, which is uh, not known. Uh, so, uh, Shorindaman Tegar, um, actually, uh, he, what he did, he made an antechamber where Sajjad Hussain used to play and practice. And in that antechamber, Imdad Khan used to sit and here, probably he used to sit with his Surbar and used to learn from hearing mm -hmm. that yeah and that's good he taught his, his he taught his son in law umrao khan surbahar but he didn't teach uh, in that khan okay but he had that uh, lakshman bhattacharya his father was his student but uh, 
Yes, 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 yes. But I don't know, somehow he didn't want to teach in that kind. I don't know why it is. <laughs> and, but it and, is written that he didn't teach. He didn't yes. want to teach. Him. And what happened to that Sajjad Hussain uh, Khan's his lineage? Uh, those? Well, uh, he taught Bhamacharan Bhattacharya, Lakhan Bhattacharya's father. Then Lakhan Bhattacharya taught few peoples in Calcutta, but um, not really yeah. uh, they pursued uh, properly or professionally. Yeah. He used to play in the radio, but uh, with another gentleman named Oporesh Chattopadhyay. But with him, that music has gone. Okay. Sorry thank about you. that. I mean, no, no, thank you. <laughs> no, sorry about that. That we miss that style. That's yeah, 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 because he didn't have any uh, children, did he? Uh, no, 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 no. If I can ask a question, yeah, please. Um, Michael Kinnear, who was did all the the um, the work on early recordings and all the. Um, he, he had a list of early Sarod recordings. Yes, yes. There was one person he mentioned, I've never found out information about him, but on the um, Michael Kinnear's work, he's listed as P. N. Roy. Do you know Yes, P. N. Roy. But I never found his record. I tried. Actually, I got the information from your article. Yeah. From yeah. your book. From, the, from your book. But I tried and also I asked the record collectors, but they didn't also find the record. Right. Okay. Pian Roy, yes. Yes, mister. I missed, I mean, yeah. We'll have to keep our eye out for it. Maybe we'll find it. Sure, sure. Sure. We, I'm still keeping an eye on to find that record. Yeah. So, so was Palyani the first uh, female guitar player in No, the... no, no. Not not really, but but the, but she's one of the earliest Sita students. All right. There are others also, but she became very prominent Sita player. All right. Because uh, many of them, they were teaching mainly their, uh, their sons and mm -hmm. their... Yes, yes, yes. Women were not given that uh, prominence or they were not given it? Uh, actually, well, at that time, women were not ready to go out and learn from other peoples and it was a taboo that oh, how how could a woman go to a person outside his yeah. her own house and learn and all these things? Yeah. So that's another point oh. they couldn't learn. Oh. Yeah. But look, I'm sure we've got thousands of questions too. But uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's already late for you probably. Yeah, yeah. But we really thank you so much, Fernando, for a wonderful presentation and even. You came up with some recordings I've never heard of myself. And so it's a real gem and a real treat for us all. So thank you so much. Most welcome. Most welcome. And hope to see you again. See you again too in Melbourne. Okay. 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 Thank, thank you. you. Namaskar. Namaskar.